and welcome to another episode of uh, PM Tuning TV. Um, Project GTS 300 two stroke. Uh, well, it's actually going to be a 183cc as a two stroke. Um, we've got some uh, updates on what we've been doing. Firstly, let's have a look at the handlebars. Um, as you can see, we've made some progress with the handlebars. Um, we've got a nice uh, layout here in terms of the shape. All, all the lines following the angles and the dropaways uh, flat. These these edges here are yet to be radiused off. Um, we're going to use some external masks on this, which I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, external mass, master cylinders with external switches. Um, give it more of a race look. These are basically going to slide up there. This will be recessed in so that the cabling and the routing will come in from the inside. Um, and use the bar end weight and a, and a, a switch, switch mechan a switch uh, unit here to, to operate the dip horn and start button, etc. So, <coughs> so now with the brakes, um, if we pan round to the back, we've started to take shape. Some more filling to do. This is the first stage. This has been plated from the rear, and obviously now starting to take shape. This will be the trim line. For the bottom of the machine uh, finish off the back end. So we talked about uh, on the last video we talked about the angles of the drops. Now these handlebars have been inclined backwards and downwards so let's have a look at um, where we are angle wise. We'll pop these on here. Get a rough idea with this angle finder. Pop the glasses on so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so if we put that up there, let's try and get a guide. Okay, so there's our angle. Let's take a reading from there. You can see that's close to 15 degrees. So we've got a 15 degree drop on there. I think the Rothmans at the time was about 25 degrees, so they're not as, not as extreme, so they're more of a, a relaxed style. Um, looking into what we've been doing here, obviously these were filmed, these, these were foamed, should I say, originally to support the, uh, the templates we had in place. All this can be taken out once we've, uh, once we get to that stage, because this will allow for the wires and the hydraulics to go through. So this is not necessary anymore. We can leave as much as it in as, as we need to, or take as much of it out as, as necessary. Uh, but that's where we are with that. Okay, now we spoke about. Um, just let me get this off back in here. We spoke about a two-stroke engine. Um, okay, so what have we got planned for a two-stroke engine? Uh, we've got a crankcase here, which is basically the rear runner, Talgic Dragster. Um, we've prepared a cylinder here. It's a PM tuning cylinder. You can see we've pulled that out. That should be good for 36 horsepower. It's going to use a, a, a billet central head and skull cap with that conversion. Um, this is the engine. Uh, we're shortly going to bolt a cylinder onto here so we can get the routing for the exhaust system out. This is going to take place at this old first We'll come around the SD to show you where. This is roughly where the exhaust layout is going to be, as you can see. Um, this will be cut out and then we'll place a slightly bulged mesh in here. The exhaust system will come up here off the, off the two-stroke cylinder, pop up into here, and then you get the fattest part of the system here. And at the back here, this will be, this will be plated out and the muffler will be coming through here. And this, this oval slot here will allow for the suspension movement to come up and down. So that will be the layout for the exhaust system. Uh, so we need to make a new wiring loom for this. Um, 
a new linkage with a scissor action on there because we talked about slamming this thing to, to the ground with airbags so that's, that's still on the card. You'll have to excuse the noise in the background. Um, just moving on to the front. These plates just need a little bit more shaping. These will be welded into place. So we'll clean up round here, weld those into place. As we said last time, we're, we're looking at maybe taking this corner away, give it sort of like a SS90 style look on the leg shields just to make it look less bulky. Um, so just uh, keep subscribing, follow the links and uh, we'll give you an update. We'll shortly put a timeline on this so you can see what we're doing uh, with the cutouts and the engine removal and new engine in place with the exhaust fabrication etc. now of the uh, the master cylinders into the um, into the handlebars so let's just uh, take a quick look now see pilot's point of view Decided on this kind of switch. Sticks out a little bit too far, but I think. Let us know what you think. That can always be changed. Just gotta get this wire now to put through. That will have another entry over. We'll probably rework this uh, clamp here. So we can drop the switch down. I think this switch would probably look better if it was in line with the handlebars. But it's a general idea of where everything's going to sit. Let's try and get a view from above. Gives you an idea of what. Second fill now. Okay, That's, this needs to be trimmed and we'll blend this through. This panel will probably be semi permanent. This one should never need to come off. Once we've, once we've trimmed this on this line here, then we've got access to remove these side trims, which will be replaced with the PM tuning carbon fiber versions. That's looking sweet there, a bit more filling to do, but not much more on that. So, There you have it. Um, as always, if you've got any views or suggestions, we're, we're happy to take those on board. Some will ignore, obviously. <laughs> some, some we might take good advice from. So if you've got any comments or you've got any ideas on this, you know, we're always happy to listen to our viewers. Um, I'm gonna get that phone now and I'm gonna to speak to you okay. later. Thank you. Now, uh, let's see where we're up to today. Um, as you can see, We've removed the GTS 300 lump, this big thing on the floor. We're gonna we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a weight on this, and uh, we'll be able to tell you what the weight difference is between the two-stroke engine and the four-stroke engine. Um, you can see here <coughs> we've got the fuel tank. This fuel tank was situated where this part here sat underneath the 
side panel and this came across the back all this is fuel tank we won't be using any of that because we'll be fabricating our own aluminium tank for that uh, I'm just getting tangled up in the wire some of you may have noticed I'm wearing a microphone today because uh, somebody had said that the sound quality wasn't brilliant so there we go um, moving on to the frame uh, you can see the two stroke crankcases in situ now um, this will be in its fully slammed position so if you can imagine this bike level with a tire on it this will be touching the ground um, we're going to have uh, around 200 millimeters of movement from being slammed to being on the, in the operational position for the suspension so this gives you an, an idea of where where the engine sits in relation to the frame um, we've got plenty of room <coughs> we'll just go around this side we've got plenty of room on this side now that the fuel tank has been removed uh, maybe if you'd like to just point up there Steve we can get an idea all this space up here <coughs> we will get the expansion chamber coming down through here and a big part of the expansion chamber will sit in this area here so all this room under here will be taken up by by the exhaust system um, so we've got a bit of work to do we've got to obviously get this finished off here we've got to get some plates in the back this is on its final stages of uh, of its shape here we've just got a little bit of uh, <coughs> filler there to smooth out um, a quick view through the back on the handlebars these are now in primer with some little bits and pieces here that we're just touching up ready for paint so they'll they'll be good for uh, a final primer coat and a sand ready for painting um, <clears throat> so we'll make it we're making progress now um, we'll keep you updated of course um, sorry we haven't had the timeline video running on this particular transformation well this particular um, section of removing the engine etc but we'll promise to get that going so you can see the fabrication work which is the all important bit at the end of the day you guys want to see how we do the linkages and how we do the air suspension and the fitting of the exhaust system we'll cover that in some real good detail i mean taking the engine out of the frame that that's the easy bit it's getting everything else to work as a, as a two-stroke engine that's going to be difficult we've got noise going on in the background as you can probably hear again keep subscribed tick that bell so you get notification uh, it'll either be here or there i don't know um depending which way you're, you're looking at this but uh, keep following us and, and follow the, uh, the two-stroke conversion on this GTS. Thanks for now.